Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. We're playing the Necrophages on a possible difficulty. Fighting for my very life we are. Um, well, not we, I am. And you get to sit there and enjoy me suffer, but... <laughs> well, that's just the way Let's Plays work, right? I didn't figure that out. Nobody told me. I thought that was fun and, and games and now this. Oh well. Now I'm gonna make my new Necrodrone army. Because they can move quite far, and I'm gonna stick it on here. And try and move out those cultists out of my land, because that's the top number one absolute number uno priority. Oh, look at you, not so strong anymore, huh? Well, still gonna do the manual fight, but... Whew, you can hear my sigh of relief, That's that's really how I'm feeling right now. Very, very, very relieved that I can actually be in the offensive. And we shall do that. Problem being though, uh, they still got, yeah, they still got their ranged unit. How far can you move? Two, so one, two, and then one, yeah, okay. They, they can't be dangerous now, but we do need two turns to actually heal up our units the way we do need to. Um, where are you? Forger? Mother sucker, really. That, that still pisses me off. How on earth is that even possible? Okay, I'm gonna waste the Necro Drone even though we paid dearly for that, but I'm gonna use it for making a beeline down there and actually, I don't need to do that. I needed to um, tangle up those suckers here, but uh, they got a lot more... Yeah, they got a lot more XP than I do. Okay, I can't attack the foragers, not with my proliferator. So probably I want to move everybody one step down like this, so I can actually shoot the proliferator at somebody that does actually matter. Maybe go like, maybe, you know. If we put him here, and then everybody around, it's kind of a weak position though. Here seems better to me. That seems better. Yeah, that's good. The forgers can still come around and try and hurt my dragon hero, but it's okay. The proliferator can at least infect two units. So one, it's gonna be this guy here. And, um, well, try and heal myself. Who are you? Militia. Cool. You can try and tangle up those guys. What are you? Another militia. Cool. Nice. You move down here, and uh, then I'll just see what the enemy does. If they will attack, or if they try and use their ranged on my proliferator. Just need to see how they do. Because they got two, like this, uh, what's it called, the Drider? Uh, he's a ranged unit. And then these... I don't know how they are called. These wolf-like creature thingies, they are also ranged. Oh, look at you, getting the beaten. Okay, there comes the Forger, as expected. They are trying to break through here and attack the weakened units, but that's okay. Can just... Oh, wow! We actually do get some uh, luck. Now when we don't need it. Well, to be fair, we did survive. And that's a little lucky in itself, even though we did not get the greatest rolls overall. But... So I'm not complaining too loudly. I'm still complaining, but kind of quietly. <laughs> uh, okay, you got a heal in, so who's more important? I'm going to heal the proliferator, because the proliferator is going to be dead after the fight. If he dies, the hero just... I can solve that problem with a little bit of dust. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to go for that guy. You go for that. You as well go for that. Uh, Prefer already got orders. Nice. Okay, so let's get around and manage some stuff because it's not the only fight we have. We do also have a front line here and one here. Well, but we can't. At I can't attack the city of Neth because they'll get 400 bonus HP and they got six 
units here and two units here and they will be counted towards the reinforcements and they will also get the bonus so I'm not gonna go for those guys and I can't go for these because they got two units here and six more in the city and they'll get a hundred and eleven bonus hit points so no 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 can't go for them what I can do here though is starting to squeeze in well I can't actually build necro drones because they cost too much titanium what do you know okay uh, that's a problem well just go for dust refinery then I guess what do you do well let's look for the battle because they should be done with the round yep they are this forger is near dead uh, we dealt with that oh perfect you can do it like this could spread out now too like these two guys can deal with that you can heal and you could go here and attack that as well how much hit points 200 Okay, so one Necrodron will attack here and two Foragers will attack that. So the Sisters of Mercy or the Justice, Justice here should survive. This guy here I'm not so sure because the Necrodrons, if they do a critical hit and the Proliferator also does some damage, it could be the 260. Also they got poisoned. So that's my logic here. Actually. Can we? No, we can't. Yep, that should do it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, so it's 50, so now only need 200 more. There goes a dead forger. Killed by... Okay, by another forger. I was about to say killed by militia, which is the greatest chain you can have. And I was kind of right. The Sisters of Mercy unit, they do take a little damage, but it's nothing... Nothing really uh, severe, just a little bit. And we'll okay, just back up to some health now. I hope the Necro Drones can actually cover that distance, because I set them to attack the the guy here. <laughs> I don't know. They can, and they're in the perfect spot, actually. Nice. Nice. Okay, so we got three more turns to deal some damage. And that we shall do. Militia, go here, attack that. You attack here, you attack here, you attack here. And you poison that. You go here, also attack. You uh, heal yourself. And these guys, I don't even care. You can go here, you can go here. Okay, go, 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 my children. Kill some cultists. Whew, that was really close. And it did cost us all our dust reserves. But we did manage to survive. Yeah. <laughs> Full out unit production. Oh man. So, okay, so we got 1k, so we could actually get Kareese back. Where are you, buddy? 200 to restore him? Sure, let's do that. And put him in a city, because he's gonna help. No. Put him in the city, because he. Come on now. He's gonna help. Um, producing the units faster in here and that is what I need now we also need to go to the market and get some titanium actually still rather cheap so a 10 stack should be fine get that could sell some palladium no we don't need that okay nothing else to do here I guess now round number two yeah, round number five, I think we're in. I don't even know. Uh, you are parasited. Are you not? Why can't I see that? Are they immune to disease? Of course they are. I didn't read it. You are not, though. So let's attack you. Ah, let's get that guy in here. And the rest is just over there. Actually... Yeah, whatever. Just attack here. Yeah. He will just be busy healing, so that's fine. You can heal yourself again. Because 600 HP <laughs> does need some time to heal up. 
And everybody got targets, right? Yeah, everybody got targets. Okay, should be fine. There you go, take a little parasite. Mm, yum, 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 yum. And we're gonna whittle her down. Like this slowest death ever, but eventually they're gonna die. Sadly, they are really immune to disease. So that was 90 damage. No, not 90, 87 damage. <laughs> oh man. 87 damage and probably. Wow! Okay. I guess the Necrodrones can do some damage. Ah, finally we can encircle that that thing here. Um, you don't even... you're gonna die from the poison anyway. So just all attack that. You heal yourself and go. Boom! Zero damage. Boom! Oh, 50! What do you know? So finally she's... Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah, she got 75% to do a... what's that? Standard defense? And of course a critical defense. Yeah, just to be more annoying. He's gonna die. Now it's up to... What the hell, man? Why didn't that last forger not attack? Oh, whatever. Okay. It's fine. We won. <sighs> Man, that was really close. A lot closer than it actually <laughs> should have been. A lot closer. Whew. Okay, are there any more cultist army in the region? No, they're not. Let's take a look at their military. Yeah, it took a nice dive, but still. We're not out of the woods yet. And we do kind of need the Draken Hero at the front lines here. It's not good that he's, or she, or whatever, is uh, back there doing what God knows what. Fighting against these stupid, stupid, stupid cultists. Okay, now we do some more scouting. And I actually can't enter the Broken Lord's land, so I'm just gonna go around and scout this part of the coastline. And you are gonna do the same. Just go as far as I can here, like that, and just gently go along the coastline here. Sound a little bit like Bob Ross for a second there. Oh, we could actually sneak in here, cool. Everybody who doesn't know Bob Ross, you need to get on the internets and uh, check that guy out. Because <laughs> he got the most amazing uh, painting tutorials you could ever could ever wish for. He's really, uh, <laughs> really an interesting personality, uh, to say the least. Now, uh, we are able to defend that city now. Yeah, should be fine. Should be fine. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Maybe the cultists are gonna pull some miracle army out of there behind, but probably not. And let's take a sip of water onto that happy event. Mm -mm -mm. Good, delicious water. Okay, of course they're gonna keep up the siege, because they're bastards like that. But now we can just go for auto fight. There we go. Kill that guy. Whew. Okay. Now we need to spread out the units. Um, let's take these two. Get you guys here. And Garry's new. So now we're gonna have two Necro Drones, one Proliferator, and we got place for eight units. So we could take two Forgers as well. Garrison you guys. Okay, so we got six units in here. And I'm gonna garrison the rest in Rexus. Most likely. Now, how about... can we unassign you? No, we can't. Three more turns until we can reallocate the Lore Keeper. What to do with you in the meantime? 
probably not much we can do actually. Okay, let's take a look. Are you at war with anyone? Because I see a shitload of the Walters. Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> They're being so smart. <laughs> Walters fighting the rowing clans. Yeah, that's a real, a real AI move. Let's say it like that. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, whatever. Um, you are at war with the Draken. Okay. Are you convinced now to do a truce? Oh, I keep doing it wrong, right? I keep doing it wrong. Just click on the unit, dumbass. Okay. Nope, they don't want a truce. Fine with me. Actually... Huh. I wonder if we... We probably can't take on their military here, though. But that would be a nice addition, just have a power base here, because the Cultist City, look at that. It's really nice. What is that? Three, five, ten districts already. And ten districts for a normal faction, that means they got 20 population, right? Hmm. Well, let's garrison these troops first. That's enough to move here. You just need to be on one of the city tiles to actually be able to garrison troops. And, well, can I move around my hero? Yeah, I can. Well, you're just gonna sit here. Actually, there's a watchtower somewhere yeah, here. Just buy a watchtower there. Caravanzi. Ah, no, it's fine. Okay, wow, I'm so happy we actually survived that. That was really really dicey okay you move there that is very nice and you well could just have clicked that button just finish up the scouting so we do need to have information there to my knowledge there's no faction in the game that actually like in endless space you had the uh, amoeba which currently i'm doing a playthrough of by the way so if you want to check that out be my guest and uh, those guys would actually gain... Why is that not going down? It's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, those guys would gain knowledge of the entire map upon start of the game. So you would start with the map revealed. And that actually is a real strong bonus for a player. Not so much for the AI, because they probably cheat their way through anyway. Like, they probably know all the... Uh, they probably have all the tiles revealed, I'm trying to say. But well, the players can make real good use out of that. Actually, I'm gonna go for this tile here first. Could go here too. Yeah, let's go like this, that, and then go here. That's gonna give us... well, no, let's go here first. That's ten more industry. Why don't we do that? Ten more industry is kinda... kinda okay. I kinda like that. I also like the Mithrite, but we... Ah, we do need... Titanium. Actually, could go... Yeah, I'm not gonna waste... Um... Oh, you know what? If we put the Barrow Streets on here, we'll actually gain the Mithrite and get those two. Yeah, 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 that's better. That is better. Very good. Um, production line. Now, this city got enough level, leveled up districts that it should be happy. So all that's left doing now is try to get good resource tiles added to the city. Like this guy here, maybe. Hmm. There are actually no real obvious targets, because if I go for... Well, this one here is kind of obvious. Yeah, let's do it like that. Problem is that if I build a district on here, it's gonna um, destroy one food. So if you get one food less and then get one food here, it really kind of defeats the purpose, right? 
But uh, more influence is always good, so... Actually, no. More influence doesn't really matter right now. What really matters now is more dust. And more units. I can't afford units yet. Because I don't... Well, I do need... I, no, not Hyperion. Where is it? Oh, yes, Hyperion. Here. <laughs> that guy. Um, yeah, let's buy that out because we do need some Hyperion. Because then we could maybe switch from the Titanium Heavy um, units to Hyperion and Mithrite. Which I wanted to do earlier, but then I had to spend all my dust on freaking units. So uh, there's that. Get that down to six maybe. That would be lovely. Yeah, we can. Now, let's look at the Empire. 14, 14, 14. All around is kind of... Probably want to invest a couple of boosters in that. All around. Yep. Let's give him... Let's take a look now. How much do you need? Probably stick all the boosters on that. They need a thousand more. Yeah, let's stick more boosters on it. There you go, because we do need to do something with it. And all around is our... Well, let's take a look. Let's not overdo it. Hmm. Looks like it didn't help at all. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Narinus could use... Okay, let's stick the last two on Narinus. Yeah, it's 120 food. It's really not much at this stage of the game. But it's something. Good. So, didn't help much. Actually, could go like this. Oh, come on. Don't make me suffer. Really? You're gonna make me... Okay. Good. That should do it for Z turn. And uh, actually... Yeah, two more turns to get the finally get the research done here. Oh, come on. Just want to have a last look at the tactical situation. Oh, yeah, they're amassing their units there now. Lorekeeper needs two more turns before I can actually move her or him. And we do need him here. So I probably stop the siege and try and move backwards. To preserve that army. Or to fight most efficiently, because that's two weirds, four weirds. What uh nothing in the city. Well, we'll see what they do, but two turns probably they're gonna attack us in those two turns, and we do have a hero here. But his bonuses don't count, and yeah, he's just going to be reinforcement. So I do want this guy here. But I can't move him there in time, and I can't reassign, so it is what it is. And also, it is the end of this episode, because, um, yeah, I feel like we're at a point where if I click do anything and click any end turn, we're going to be in a battle, and then I'm going to have to do a 45-minute episode again, because uh, battles tend to take a little while. So, let's go through the one... Yeah, everything looking good. Our friends are on our territory, that's nice. Let's actually kiss their ass one more time. Because, uh, here you go, you're looking so good. Compliment. There you go. You're my buddy, right? You're not gonna ban me from the market. No. Yeah, we are precious. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do need the uh, the rowing clans, because I do need to be able to sell foragers still. So, here we are at the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed the content, and uh, if you did, I wouldn't mind if you leave me a like, or if you want to see more of that content, just subscribe, and I uh, promise I'm going to put out one video every day. And uh, a lot more of Endless Legend, actually. My next 
uh, playthrough is gonna be a Walter playthrough. I didn't yet mess with them, but uh, we, I got a couple of requests in already for the Walters and um, actually wanted to do them because they seem kind of interesting. A very different playstyle from the Necrophages probably. Uh, but I still need to figure out a tactic. It's, it's probably gonna be a small, tall empire and then go for high-tech strong armies, but we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, I'm kind of excited to start it, actually, but we have got a long way ahead to uh, to this series to actually, well, win it, I guess. Not sure if we can, because uh, we are stretched thin right now, but we'll see. Hopefully we can win it. Anyway, I need to stop rambling, so I will. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day, and um, see you around for the next episode. Until then, goodbye.